Matt here with Home Farm Ideas, and I was going to do a cool update today, but as you can see, I'm rained out. So it has just been coming down for long periods of time, and so I cannot do any updates. Um, you know, I can do a little update. I'll do this one. I'll basically, I'm not going to walk you outside or anything through the whole system, but I basically can talk a little bit about something here that I'm kind of worried about. Um, but I can fix it in the long run. Um, it's raining so much that my aquaponics system is, is totally getting filled up. And so I'll show you the sump tank in a minute to see where we're at with the level. I just got home from church, so I want to check it out and see how high it actually is. But um, as you can see, it's raining, and I wanted to do an update on my new Zipro towers. <laughs> and I can't today because, and I'm really like wanting to get it done, but I can't today because it's completely pouring. I mean, the floor out here and everything, like on my patios, drenched. So I'll give you a little video of that right now. So, anyways, let's uh, do a little bit of a, an update here on the, you know, the water levels in your aquaponic system and how it, you know, rain is a good thing because it can bring the pH down of your system, but um, at the same time, it kind of dilutes, you know, anything you've added to the water, like iron or or whatever. So. Anyways, let's get to uh, showing you a little bit about that and the something, All right? So yeah, this is my patio. This is a covered patio. And the water has just overflowed. That's a little planter bed down there. And that has just overflowed as well. And it's just lots and lots and lots and lots of water. Um, the good part about this is that, um, and I'm sure most of you around this country and possibly other countries know that California has been in a severe drought for a long time now. So, with the fact that we're getting all this rain and our water levels are nice and high now, the water prices should come down, right? So if you're part of the water company, we don't want to pay for water, these high prices, when clearly we're getting enough. So anyways, just a little message to them. Don't overcharge people. You just piss people off doing stuff like that. <laughs> so anyways, um, this will not overflow because there's an overflow pipe there. My, my, um, my beds are good too because like I said, those when they get filled up, they just automatically siphon down into the sump tank and then my fish tank the water is discolored I know um, but that's because I added chelated iron to it and seaweed extract oh and you guys if you if you know of any kind of like organic seaweed extract that will not discolor the water please give me a link below that way I can go and buy it because um, you need well I want to use seaweed extract for the trace minerals and stuff uh, that I would need in my aquaponics system. I don't like putting a lot of chemicals in my system. So seaweed extract adds a lot to the system. But as you can see, they're all nice and happy. They always think they're gonna get fed. So um, I really want something that'll clear up the water though. Make it look a little cleaner. My iron, my chelated iron, it doesn't turn the water this color. It's the seaweed extract. So, or the seaweed, or the kelp meal, excuse me. So anyways, let's take a look under this at the sump tank and yes the levels are completely full that is even though that hole up there is higher that is not the the lowest point the lowest point is actually over there at that that larger pipe and so it's all the way full so that tells me that i'm losing nutrients basically all the water that's overflowing out of this i'm losing the nutrients and i'm also losing the iron so I'm going to need to replenish that, and I'm going to need to add the seaweed extract. Um, now we'll see, provided, because um, as the plants use up the nutrients, the water starts to clear up. So as these plants over here start to use all that, the iron and the, uh, the seaweed, or the kelp mill, whatever it's called, the seaweed, it's basically the same thing. So um, they use all that, and when they use all that, the water starts to clear up. So when I see the water start to clear up, and it's usually about every three weeks. When I start to see the water start to clear up, that's when I start to add my my um, stuff that I need in, in my system. And so if from this rainstorm, by the time it's done, if 
basically the water's a little more clear, I'll know. Plus, I got instruments that I can actually test the iron. Um, and then the seaweed extract, it's not really a big deal to add another spoonful um, just to get it back to where it was. So, um, I might have to end up doing that, but we'll see what the discoloration of the water is. So, this is what I wanted to work on my uh, Zipro towers. I got the drainage done for it. Um, yeah, you guys haven't even seen this yet, I don't think. I got the drainage done for it. It's a rain gutter that goes from there, and it's it's kind of slanted. So it goes down, then it's underneath this tarp, and then it comes back into the sump tank. So I'm going to be hanging my Zipro towers up here, but I need to add a board across there to kind of tie it all together. I had to drill these posts with concrete drill and some stuff into the into the uh, brickwork. And so I am basically need to add that beam across so I can hang my towers. And then I want to put the towers in this gutter. And the gutter is a little too small, but the cool thing about that is that I'm going to force it in there. And then I'm trying to use a heat gun or something to kind of get the gutter to form around each individual uh, tower. That way when I, seat, when I put them down, they'll seat right down into that. Okay? So, and then I'm going to grow strawberries and chives and whatever else I think might be really cool uh, and watch these things grow out. So... Uh, after that, I definitely want to get these going. These are two other grow beds. I'm going to do one fish tank out there probably and one grow bed, and then I'm going to do two more here and here. And um, same thing, uh, one fish tank, one grow tower. Because I want to breed Arandas and um, Aranda goldfish and um, Ranchu goldfish. I just think they're just the coolest looking things. And I've had a lot of luck selling... Um, Believe it or not, aquatic plants. I'm growing these right now, and by you know by uh, spring, I'll have this almost this whole thing just full of these uh, uh, frog bait. So, anyways, um, just a, just a little video to kind of show you guys where I'm at and what I can and cannot do today. Um, yeah, I can't do anything today. Even these lights are starting to blow down. So my chickens are locked away. No one went out there to let them out, and we can't do it now. It's just too muddy and stuff. So. Yeah, that's where I'm at. You know what I am going to do? I'm going to put a drainage pipe right here and uh, try to take this water elsewhere because it's basically just coming up onto the patio. So, anyways, a little update, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I do appreciate the rain. God's been good. And uh, we needed this rain here in California, and it's just pouring. So uh, we need more of it. So, anyways, God bless you guys. And like always, peace. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you guys. I like talking to you guys, so post any comments you got, all right? Later.